What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here another Dell Optiplex 990. This is the mini tower disassembly teardown video. So we're going to remove the side cover panel latch right here. You press on the latch to remove the side cover panel. And what you guys need is, uh, I prefer you can wear latex gloves and uh, you will need a Phillips screwdriver. So first off we're going to start off guys is uh, the power supply. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead. There will be four screws in the back. You have to remove, and uh, what you're gonna do is disconnect the cables. We're gonna start off from 24 pin right here. There's a little clip right here. So what you're gonna do is, uh, with your with your finger, you release the clip to release the lock. 24 pin. Same with the four pin here. Right here, there's a little clip on it. You have to press on it to release it. So we're gonna disconnect the SATA from the hard drive, optical drive power. And that's about it. Now, what you're gonna do is uh, there's a little clip right here, secure clip. You press with your screwdriver to release the lock right here to release the power supply. So you press on the with the screwdriver, release it, and your power supply will come off. So remove the power supply. And now we're gonna start off hard drive and disconnect the SATA cable and remove the hard drive caddy. A little plastic right here, you press on your fingers like this. And it comes right out. And just disconnect the hard, hard drive caddy, it's plastic, it bends really easy from the hard drive like this. So it's really easy. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the front cover basil here. The little clips right here, you probably be really gently with your finger. And from bezel will come real comes right off like this and this is the optiplex 990 mini tower now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the city cable here and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the optical drive and to do that there's a little clip on you press on press it down with your finger and optical drive comes right off just like that really easy So remove the optical drive. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect all the SATA cables. Here's all the SATA cables we have to disconnect here. And the power switch uh, right here, the power LED is gonna be right there. Front panel right here for the power switch motherboard, it's gonna be right there. So we're in the top right corner right there. So get that disconnected. And here right here for the system rear system fan right here to get that disconnected too. Uh, for the here's the for the fan for the processor cooling fan right here, get that disconnected. And uh, you're gonna disconnect uh, let's see, we're gonna disconnect disconnect the uh, let's see what else see right here, that's for the front panel. USB it looks like and get in this hood sensor here in the internal speaker right there all in the corner with the bottom right corner and get that disconnected too and you can disconnect the internal speaker in the sensor right there it's gonna be in the bottom right corner right there make sure everything is disconnected before we move the motherboard so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the memory little clips where you press is really easy to remove the memory So remove the memory. Now make sure to remove all the SATA cables from the case. And and here's the internal speaker right there. You get that as a little clip right here. You press on it to release internal speaker, and it comes right out. Okay, let's see now. We're gonna remove the. We're gonna remove this the uh, the processor cool uh, heat sink right here the cooler. So remove that. We need a Phillips screwdriver. So remove the heat sink. 
and disconnect the processor. There's a little clip right here with your finger. You press on it, release the clip, and it comes right out. And just remove the processor. Really easy, really quick. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the rear system fan. Let me get a piece of paper towel here. And okay, so we're going to remove the rear system fan right here. The way you do that is really easy. You just take this fan like this, and it's got like a rubber feet right here. And it just gently pull it, just gently see you walk around it like this. You pull it and it comes right out, but really gently, you don't want to break him off. Same with the other side. And it comes right off like that. Rear system fan. Okay, so now we're going to disconnect the front right here. And it's held by one screw right there. So this is the USB and the... Uh, and what you're going to do is take a Phillips screwdriver right here and so and just unscrew that and it's come right out the front panel and it comes right out like this So here's the, for the USB, the front panel for the headphones and the power LED looks like. So we got that disconnected and will be the last part is will be the motherboard. And so this is how the motherboard, there are three screws on the top, three in the middle and two actually two in the bottom looks like one, two, so six total, eight screws total. So so we're going to start off the, the bottom here. So two in the bottom and there'll be three in the middle here. And so this is the total five screws and we have three in the top, last one's three. Two. So total, so we got total of eight screws. And make sure all everything's disconnected in the motherboard. You gotta check. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the motherboard. You just gently take your finger like this, and the motherboard come, should come right out. So here's the motherboard. Yeah, the back, the back side. I'm not gonna take off right here. The bracket that holds the heatsink. I'm not gonna take it off. It's held by the sticker. I'm not gonna do it. So I'm just gonna leave it on. So here's the motherboard. Now we're gonna remove the backplate IO shield right here. You guys see right there. So what you can do is take a screwdriver and you just hit it a little bit gently and it comes right out. Be really gently, you don't want to touch this uh really sharp edges, so you wear a glove, latex gloves. It's cause it's pretty sharp. So how that's how you move the backplate IO shield. And we're going to remove the little latch right here, the PCI bracket right here that holds the PCI brackets. And remove the PCI brackets right here. It comes right out, the PCI brackets. So that's about it, you guys. So we move the... So basically remove everything. This is the disassembly teardown of the Dell Optiplex 990 mini tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.